Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. Just a real quick install today. I live out in the country. If I park my rig longer than a week, I end up with mice and chipmunks underneath the hood. Uh, I always have droppings every time I open the hood. Acorns, everything else. So far, I have not uh, experienced any damage due to chewed wire or anything, but it's only a matter of time. So I was looking into something I could do to deter them from coming in here. I've tried mothballs, uh, sprays, everything. I'm going to try an ultrasonic uh, deterrent that connects directly to the 12-volt battery. Now, I looked on Amazon. There's uh, quite a few, some very, very expensive. I actually went with this brand Vensmile. Uh, it had excellent reviews on Amazon. Everybody who uh, posted a review gave it five stars. Uh, and it was actually one of the cheaper ones. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Um, and it also comes with two. So I'm going to install it here. First I'll bring you closer. We'll unpack it and see what it's made of. And it's made by Vensmile. There's actually two in this package. And they are quite tiny. And let's just take out one. So it comes with a wiring harness for it. Looks like four wire ties for each unit. And this is it. Uh, it's got two LED lights on the bottom. And they're going to show me uh, that it's working and that, that what mode it's in. A plug for the wiring harness and an on off switch. Now, uh, you can turn this off, but if you can leave it on, it has a vibration sensor in it. So when you start your vehicle and you're using your vehicle, it will automatically turn off. And then when you park your vehicle, uh, once it sits idle for a little bit, it'll automatically go back on. And it seems real simple. Oop, a little windy out here. Simple positive and negative wire. It comes with a fuse and it'll just plug in. And this is just going to connect to the battery. So let's open up the hood and uh, see how we'll mount this. So it comes with about three feet of wire and it's simply going to connect to my battery. Red for positive and again it comes fused and black for negative. And you can actually grab negative any, anywhere in the chassis but I'm going to go directly to the battery. Now it doesn't really say if you should mount it in the center or on the side. I think I'm going to mount it right here. Wire tie it in and that should echo this right off the hood into everything. And we'll give it a try. So the first thing I'll do is I'll loosen these nuts and we'll make our wire connections. Okay, I'm going to do the positive first. And I only have to loosen these because these wires come slotted, so I should be able to, once I get it loose enough, slip it right over that so I don't have to take the nut completely off. Perfect. It really doesn't get any easier than that two wires and you don't have to take the nuts all the way off the uh, they have a slice in them you can just push them on once you loosen the nuts so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna test to make sure I'm getting positive and negative that there's no problem with the wire before I connect it all up this way if the unit's not working I know it's not a wiring problem I can get this okay I have my voltmeter I'll Black and positive, and perfect. Looking at 12.75, so my wiring is good. I'll wrap this up and we'll attach this here, plug it in, and again. It's perfect. The excess off. Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to 
route this wire so it's nice and clean. Let's see, I'll come underneath here. Get a wire tie around here. Snip that off, and that's it. Now I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what it looks like. So that's it. I mean, it, this really couldn't be easier. So there's the on and off switch. Turn it on. I get a red LED that says it's powered, and the green, once it turns to green, it says that it's working. And if you look down here, I don't know if you can see it flashing. Let's see. The LED lights flash white to show you that the ultrasound is uh, transmitting. It also, the LEDs are supposed to annoy rodents also. So, so we'll see if this works. I'll be able to tell because uh, I always have droppings underneath my hood here. So I'll be able to see if there's any activity here and uh, how the, well this works. Now, again, this came with two units, so if this actually works out well, I'm gonna install the second unit inside my RV and pull off the uh, RV's 12 volt system. So when it's in storage, I could have this in there. Any little bit helps. Uh, actually, I'm gonna test it. Let's just test this real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake it to see if it goes off. So the, the light's green. Yep, as soon as I tapped it, it went to the red and tells me it's in, it's not transmitting anymore and it's going to turn itself down. So, yep, the vibration does work. So, it's great. Apparently, it only pulls like 70 milliamps. So, they say you could go for about a month without starting your battery and you should still have no problem. So, that's it. Super easy install. Hopefully it corrects the problem. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave uh, a link on my website, rvhabit.com. Be sure to check it out. And if you haven't, please subscribe and hit the bell. Let you know when I do some new videos. And I'll see you soon.